Moonshiner. It's the name of a new big Red Dead Online update and I like it. I like it a lot because look at my character. He's definitely a Moonshiner, not a photographer or some stuff like this. Moonshiner. But besides this new role, there is also gonna be a new season of an outlaw pass called Navy. Oh yeah, I mean, not called, just a navy revolver i'm not supposed to say cold and some new items let's talk about this but first few words about weekly red dead online update i know nobody cares but still there are some discounts for example for a posse creation you would only have to pay 100 dollars and it's a good deal in my opinion and you have this 30 percent discount for a racing horses who cares, I mean they are not so great, and for saddles and stuff like that. So you can buy yourself this good saddle and never be worried about the stamina on any horse. Also there are 30% off for a gun belts, again who cares, and 30% off for a weapon metals, but here be careful with this discount, they are only trying to get the gold out of you, because you have to pay in gold for this guy. Kind of stuff and you gonna need this gold pretty soon so i warned you anyway it's time to talk about some real news moonshiners it's a name for a new big red dead online update that is coming december 13th and by the way it's friday we will be able to get a new role of a moonshiner and this update and start making some cool booze and what can i say to the rockstar about this fact finally after after all these pathetic attempts, you are finally starting to understand what I want and how to satisfy me. That's what she said! <laughs> Actually, it's not a role, it's rather a sub-role for a trader role, because only traders can become these moonshiners, but it seems like any trader will be able to do so, because you easily have to reach level 5 or complete one selling mission, and basically you can do that on the first level of trader. But before we continue with the moonshiner role, there is some more info to discuss. First, Outlaw Pass season 2. No info here, but I only think that it's gonna cost more than previous one, it's just my assumption. Also, there is a navy revolver, and we of course understand that they are talking about Colt Navy 1851 or 61, I don't know which exact model, but I mean, this is, that's a great one, I always wanted this weapon in this game. I think that that's gonna be a slow but a heavy weapon that will do much damage, just like a volcanic for pistols, but only a revolver. And of course I'm gonna buy it as fast as I can and test it out. Also there will be new items and you can tell which ones from this picture, it's a spoiler in my opinion. My only bet that it's gonna be only available in an outlaw pass, you won't be able to buy it without buying an outlaw pass but let's see there is no info on a new ability cards and rebalance of existing ability cards but i'm pretty sure that first there's gonna be a big rebalance not only for ability cards but for weapons too and second that there will be new ability cards of course because that's a great way to get some of the players money let's continue with the moonshine that's what he said so so Crips is gonna introduce you to this infamous Meiji Fike. She looks like a nice lady and reminds me of my kindergarten teacher, but not so evil and tough, of course. Anyway, this old lady is gonna let you to buy a moonshine in Chuck and get ready to pay a lot of gold for this. It's another my assumption. And after buying this, you will be a legit moonshiner. There is something special about this role, and it's a series of story missions to be played as a moonshiner and that's something interesting and I like the idea. Also you will be able to customize your decor and even buy a country band in your bar and it also sounds interesting to me because it's probably gonna be a cool way to spend our money in this 
this game. And that's the all info about new role so far, so we don't know, maybe they will just take the mechanics from GTA Online and just put them in Red Dead Online, or maybe, and I hope for that, they will create some other different new mechanics, we're gonna see that. But anyway, I'm so excited about this new role and new upcoming update, so now I'm interested in your opinion about this upcoming update, please let me know this in the comments. And one more question, how much money do you think we're gonna need for this update to feel comfortable? My bet it's gonna be at least 100 gold bars and 3000 dollars to buy the most needed stuff. So that's it, as always, thank you for watching, see ya, до свидания.